since Spaces is powered by the Ministry of Retro Gaming. State of the Channel. April 2019. Sense Spaces. G'day invaders and welcome to Sense Spaces and this is my monthly state of the channel video and this is now what April already April 2019 and this is the first time I've been in front of the camera for over two weeks now uh, I've been busy with my niece and nephew from Japan and I'll talk a little bit about that at the end of the video couple of things that um, came up during their stay that really surprised me and kind of disappointed me as well but we'll talk more about that later uh, I'm gonna start off quickly first with the monthly uh, top five videos for since spaces the number five video for the month was my last state of the channel video uh, looking back on March and I've again this is sounding like a repeat of the last State of the Channel video. Every time one of these State of the Channel videos get in, it's a, it's a disappointing month for me. I'd prefer to see some of my other videos make it into the top five. And on that note, I was a little disappointed to not see some of my Let's Play videos get up there. I know you guys don't really like Let's Play videos, but the reason why I've been doing so many of those recently is a couple of reasons. One, uh, I was busy. I knew I was going to be away from been able to record in front of the uh, cameras here uh, for uh, two weeks or so so I decided to get around about eight videos together or so that I could just edit and get out without having to do any of this um, <laughs> unfortunately some of those videos did not turn out so you will not get to see Sebastian owning me in Halo that that never happened it, it's it's uh, a myth it never happened. Sorry, Sebastian. <laughs> uh, no one will get to see that. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I do a lot of Let's Plays. The other reason why I like to do Let's Play videos on the channel is because you see a lot of big YouTubers uh, and they put together some fantastic videos. I'm not saying that that's not what they're doing, but you never see them actually playing any video games. I, I've, I can name some names, but I won't. I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about is some of the, when I when you're talking about some of the big YouTubers you always see them doing these uh, really cool videos about gaming history or an in-depth look at this game or this IP or whatever you just never see them playing a video game it just yeah it's something I like to see is uh, a bit of that hands-on approach when it comes to actually running a YouTube channel. So that's the reason why I do my Let's Play videos. Anyway, moving on to number four. Number four on the channel for the month of March was my look at this thing, the TV Divu. TV, sorry, Divoom, TV, TV Divu. You know what I mean? It's called the TV. And the guys at Divoom are actually releasing a bigger version of this. So look, be on the lookout for that. Um, the animations still fascinate me. It's one of those things that even though a few months on after owning this, I don't get bored of looking at it because the amount of animations that are being released are, are just <laughs> amazing. Uh, someone did comment though that it's a shame that the animations are restricted to only so many frames. And I must admit that yes, that is a bit of a restriction, but look what they can achieve with just the limitations that they do have. That is pretty epic. So anyway, my look at the TV was number four for the channel in the latest month. So coming in at number three on the channel for last month was my episode number five of the Synth Spacey show. And that was a difficult one to put together because one of the guests was a little hard to, I don't know, keep under control. You'll see what I mean. Uh, nothing too bad. He will be invited back on the channel, but someone did actually comment Oh, I guess that's the last time you'll see him on your channel. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to see episode number five of the Synth Spaces show to see who was the difficult member to keep under control. And number two and number one were my uh, Saving Sonic and Sally videos and they're gone out of control. Uh, they're actually reaching 100,000 minutes uh, alone on one video, the update video. 100,000 minutes watched, which is the 
the biggest video on my channel ever. Um, and there's no signs of that video. Well, actually it is starting to slow down, but it then picked up again because the Sonic statues over in Japan have actually had the attention of Sega of Europe, who have then gotten in touch with Sega of Japan. And now Sega of Japan are potentially looking like they may get involved in trying to restore that snowboarding uh, statue, which I'll put a picture up. So because that video went big on YouTube, all the people watching that video then went to my channel and started subscribing because of my Sonic statue video uh, that was taking place for the saga that's going on and still going on here in Sydney. Now in relation to that, um, the reason why I haven't done a follow-up video is because there's no news, there's no further development. Um, the guy that was trying to, the junkyard owner that is, he's been difficult. Uh, he actually also had the same response to another YouTuber, uh, Aussie Gaming Experience. Um, he went and approached them as well. He got the same response. So it wasn't just me, <laughs> it's, um, which I was kind of, one part of me was kind of hoping that he would succeed, but there was, I won't lie, there was another part of me thinking, God, if he gets away with getting these statues, it's going to make me look like a schmuck. So uh, in that way, I'm glad that it wasn't just me. But no, we, in all fairness, uh, we I would really love to see these statues uh, restored, saved and, and rescued. I, I personally... I, I'll be honest, I don't see it happening. And it's just looking like that this guy, uh, he has issues uh, with letting things go, um, which is you know, just a grand shame. And it's not fair. It's really not fair that these pieces of uh, gaming history are being held hostage and left to rot. And the reason why I'm, I'm so passionate about it is because Australia doesn't really have much in the way of video game history. And this is one small part of it. And it would be nice to, you know, be involved in the rescue and restoration of it. Um, because Sega, Sega World here in Sydney was a uh, really special part of video gaming history here in Sydney. And I don't think we'll ever see something on that scale ever again in this city or in this country for that matter. So. That's why it's a shame that we'll never get our hands on this statue if this guy keeps it up the way he's going. Anyway, gonna move on. So one of the things that came up while I had my niece and nephew here from Japan was their, how would you put it? Addiction to these things, mobile phones and tablets. Um, now I was, I was actually kind of hoping to get them on and do a series of videos since Spaces versus Japan or something along those lines. And I, I swear to God, they took one look in this room. They had a look at all these games and there's a, I'm, I'm standing in front of a, a wide range of video games, which would make most people stand here and go, wow. Um, but they, they took one look and they never stepped foot in this room again in the two weeks that they were here. They just were not interested. And when I uh, tried to ask them to play Mario Kart or something that might be more appealing to them because they do what well, they did used to like Nintendo, they just were not interested. They did play the 3DS a bit in their room and they would not leave the room for the last three or four days. It was quite weird, actually. Um, so my question to you guys is, uh, is console gaming dying? Um, is it just me? Uh, like, is, is it just that all these kids are addicted to smartphones and all the rubbish games that are being released on that platform? Um, if so, wow, that's really sad. I, I really, I really hope that that's not the way that video games are going. Um, I'm a, I'm a hands-on type person. I like to have a controller. I can't play touch screen games. I I had uh, some kid up the road actually, he was getting stuck on a level in this touch screen game. He gave it to me and I was useless. I had no way of controlling with the, the flat screen controls. I, I just can't do it. I need a controller. And that's just the way I'm wired. So is it just that I'm old fashioned, I'm a dinosaur and, and these kids are the new way of going when it comes to video gaming? 
or are they missing out? Are they missing out on a on a um, on a type of game, a type of entertainment, I should say, that they really should be giving more time to? They just, I don't know. It, it's just really sad. I mean, the 3DS is selling well. The the Nintendo Switch is obviously selling well. So I don't know. Maybe is it just older gamers that are buying it and the younger gamers are, are avoiding it? Please let me know. I don't have kids. So I don't understand these kids uh, these days. I feel like Clint Eastwood. It's like, <laughs> I just lost touch. I've lost touch with today's generation. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd make this video a real quick one. Um, I, I didn't want to be spending too much time here um, because I'm going to be getting stuck into a lot of video games. I'm standing in front of a pile of games for my next pickup videos um, that's going to come up in the next one or two days plus this Saturday I'll be hosting episode number six of the Synth Spacey show so if you are watching this before Saturday Sydney time please get your questions into me they need to be one minute or less one minute or less it needs to be in 16 by 9 format you know this way <laughs> like a TV um, and it can be on anything video gaming related or even if it's not video gaming related send it in and if it's good enough I'll get it on the channel and if you don't make it uh, in time to get your videos in for this Saturday then send it in anyway because I'll store them I'll keep them on a file and um, in a folder that is and if uh, if I run short I'll go to that and I'll try to put you in in the next episode episode number seven um, so yeah, and the guests for this coming episode of the Sin Spacey Show are Mean Machine Dean, I've got it right that time, uh, also Grumpy Retro Gamers, I'm not sure if Ben and Chris are both going to be on, we'll have to wait and see, uh, and also Sorix Space, so it's going to be an all British affair this weekend, um, but uh, yeah, please get on board, if you haven't watched any of the episodes in the past, Make sure you get and look at Synth Spacey's show. They're a lot of fun and I, I do enjoy putting them together. They are for me the highlight of this channel. Um, plus I've got a few other special videos. I'm going to try and make this month coming up um, the biggest month for videos in the channel's history. So that's my promise. I'll be trying to do what I can to get as much content out to you guys. Uh, plus I've got a stack of Let's Play videos as well coming up uh, uh, on the channel as well. I'm blah 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 blambling, rambling on. Also I'd like to thank all my patrons. Please check the link down below and uh, just for a dollar a month you can help out with some of the stuff that helps put this channel together. My name has been Brian and I've been gaming since Spaces. Thanks guys. Since spaces.